Have you ever made old fashioned lemonade? It's better than fresh squeeze because we're literally gonna pull the oils out of the rinds. This is a recipe that they made in the 1800s. It's a great lemonade, strong, tart, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. Mmm, so good. These are the ingredients that we need today. We need five lemons. I got these off a tree. We need one and a fourth cup sugar and one and a fourth quart of water, basically five cups of water. And I like to squeeze my lemons. I like to actually run them on the table it helps separate the rind because we are going to use the rind of these lemons. And I just find it easier if I've rolled the lemons for a little bit. So I'm just taking the knife all the way around. See how it's still attached? We can just pull that off. Then we're going to just Make slices about every half inch. Because we're going to use these rinds. A lot of times when you make juice lemon, lemonade now, you don't use the rind at all. But there's a lot of oils in here. And we want to pull those oils out. So we're just going to go around. And because we cut that top off, you can go underneath there and just start peeling it. See how it'll just peel right off. Now you don't really want a lot of the pith. So if you can take that off. And a lot of times when you get this very bottom part, you can get the rest of them. But see how simple that is? You're getting your half inch strips and then we're just gonna put the lemons to the side. Now see on this one, it didn't pull everything off. So I'm gonna just take my fingernail and pull that off. And this lemon is gonna go into the bowl. And then we just grab another one Go all the way around. You can leave it on right now or pull it off. And I'm actually going to cut these in half and throw them in our bowl too. Because they have oils in the skin too. And so I'm just going to do every single one and put them all in the bowl. All five lemons are sliced up so we have about a half inch. Some of them are a little bit thinner, some are a little bit wider. And to that, we're going to add our one and a fourth cups sugar. And we want this sugar to stay on there for an hour. And I'll stir it a couple times. Now, these are lemons that are just got picked off the tree. If you're buying them in the store, make sure that you wash the outside. If you can get organic, that's better so it doesn't have any chemicals. And I'm going to put a sheet of saran wrap over top of these. And we are just going to let them sit for an hour. The sugar will literally pull out the oils that are in those rinds. Now in the 1800s, they didn't waste anything. After they made the lemonade and they did this process, they would actually candy those lemon um, rinds so that everything was used. The lemons are just going to sit in this bowl for that whole hour time. Then we will squeeze them. I see I got one piece over here. The sugar has been mixed with the rind for one hour and see how wet the sugar has gotten as it's pulled all those oils out. Fabulous. The five cups of water are just about to boil. When it gets to a rolling boil then I'm going to dump it over the lemon rinds. Our water is boiling so we're going to pour that over the rinds. Now that's five cups of water. 
I'm going to mix that up some. And I'm going to let that sit for 20 minutes. Then I'm going to take the rinds out. Our lemons have just been sitting. And I'm literally just going to squeeze them with my hands. And I can get this done easily while I'm waiting the 20 minutes for the rinds. So I'm just going to squeeze every single one. And you want to get all the juice out you can. When you're done squeezing, they're just basically nothing, just some um, pulp left. But you've squeezed all of it out. I'm going to throw that in a pan and it will just sit and drain in case there's any left in there. So it's been 20 minutes that they've been in there. The first thing I'm going to do is this is all that pulp from the lemons. And I'm first going to pour all the juice through there. Now I don't really mind having some pulp in there, but I don't want any seeds in there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting the rinds up there. The heat from the rinds can sometimes release even more juice that I didn't realize was there. And I can press it with my spoon. And I'm just going to let that drip after I get all those rinds out. I'm just going to let it drip for an hour so that it gets all the lemon juice possible down into our lemonade. All the rind is out. There's no seeds. There is a little bit of pulp, but that's okay. And I just want this to drain for an hour. You can see as I press it, I'm still getting some juice. So I'm going to let that just drip for an hour. It'll cool in that meantime. Then I'll be able to put it in the refrigerator. I've let this drip actually for about two hours because we were busy doing stuff. At this point, you could candy these lemon rinds, put them in your compost. You could take the seeds and try to grow them or you can just toss them. Totally up to you. But it's a wonderful smell. Our lemonade is all the way cool. I'm gonna put it in a pitcher, put it in the refrigerator. A little side note, I find the lemonade to be better after 24 hours. And so if you're gonna have company, do it the day before. As always, like, subscribe, share with the world. Enjoy yourself a glass of old fashioned lemonade. And I will see you next time.